Hey there everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. Now I want to show you a bad problem. I just pulled this gutter guard back and show you what we got going on. You see where the wood's chewed up. And you might notice something's missing. So what do we have missing along here? This is a steel roof that lacks drip edge. All steel roofs are supposed to have a drip edge that slips up under the roofing and then it drops down behind the fascia board. Or in front of the fascia board, I should say. But they did not do that here. Instead, they left a big gap. So right here, there's no chewing damage that I can put my hand in. Here's a different metal roof that's done the correct way. As you can see, this is the gutter, comes back here, and the roof actually stops here, and there's a bit there, but as you can see, there's drip edge that comes right down here. It's tucked up underneath this metal roofing and comes right down and drops right down in the gutter. So there's no way you can stick your hand up there, and it goes the whole way. So that's the drip edge that Ryan's talking about that's missing. Here, the squirrel's chewed and I can fit my whole hand in. This isn't the only spot on the house. Down there where I have traps set up is the main entry point. This is the secondary entry point. If this isn't properly addressed, we could end up having potentially entry points all along here. As you can see, I can slide my hand in this gap, and I'm going back about four inches. Not only can I go back four inches, but if I turn my fingers and go down, I can go down even further. And we got birds in here. See the bird nest? So this is just a lovely design. Thank you.